Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> I'm tired. I don't want to do this today. I got um, today, Friday, and maybe a part of Saturday, and I'm finally taking a weekend off, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so that's super cool. That's awesome. I can't wait. God, I'm excited for that. Um, so uh, real quick, I wanted to talk about my uh, community post last night. Uh, so I made a side channel um, mainly to keep like all the uh, nonsense off of uh, this channel uh, because I know a lot of you are just here for the like the trucking vlogs and whatever uh, weird things I'm thinking throughout the day on this channel um, but I needed an outlet because uh, as you guys know I'm, I'm frequently kind of a target of other people here on YouTube and I didn't want it to be on this channel where I respond and I make fun of them and all that stuff so separate channel it's on the community tab only for people that are into that kind of thing it's just going to be a trash talking channel that's it nothing I'm going to take too seriously but I was starting to get concerned uh, with myself like I'm going to respond to this stuff and I don't want to like tear this channel down in the process because you guys are here to watch trucking stuff or whatever I'm I'm doing over here. Uh, so <laughs> I, I desperately needed an outlet before I brought it here. Um, it's going to be pretty harmless. It's just me talking trash to people that, uh, you know, talk trash about me and just for fun, just for fun. So um, if you guys saw that and you're interested in it, by all means, uh, go over there and subscribe to the channel. Um, if not, you will never see it here. So that's the uh, beauty of uh, running two channels. But it already broke 100 subscribers overnight. Uh, just put out a trash talking video, just having fun. They're easy to do, so I'll probably, <laughs> in this community, they're real easy to do. <laughs> so I'll probably uh, do quite a few of them over there. Um, just kind of mess around with the guys. And it's not even going to be like, if I like or don't like that guy. As a matter of fact, I'll probably go even harder on guys that I do like, you know, and uh, make fun of them. So just kind of a roasting channel, if you will. So anyways, uh, I'm up getting ready to go. Um, I'm overthinking this channel. I'm like, I, I'm, I started to think like every day I've got to have like a brilliant thing to say or a, a brilliant topic or what have you. And I'm overthinking it. It's a trucking vlog, you know, um, we'll just, if it's a boring day, well, then I guess it's just a boring day and that's the way it goes. Um, but I, I have been having a lot of trouble with, well, what's my next video topic going to be? It's just trucking, baby. It's just trucking. That's all it is. So, <laughs> um, I'm excited though, to finally take some time off. I did get held up for quite a bit of time in, uh, Colorado and uh, made it so I couldn't get as far as I wanted to yesterday. I was planning by the end of today to be off on uh, my weekend, but I got held up all day. So I've still got 920 miles to go, but I'm going to bang out about 700 of those today. Hopefully I uh, get that done and then get up tomorrow. Just knock out the little bit that's left and um, enjoy some time out of the truck. So uh, last week we just absolutely crushed it. Um, uh, Taxes are a real thing, huh? <laughs> I'm used to getting settlements without taxes taken out. And when you're, you know, more of a, a business owner, you can always move that money around and, uh, you know, uh, all that stuff. But when you're, when you're company, they just take the taxes out. And I'm, I have, haven't had to deal with that for a while. So a lot of money went out um, <laughs> in, uh, in taxes. So whatever, that's fine. That's the way it goes. Um, we're living a more stable life right now, more, more steady income. Um, and I get to take the weekend off without worrying about how to pay the truck bills. Of course, I'm not making a ton of money this week, but I'm not losing money this week either. And that's uh, the big big thing with that that's the most important thing I guess so um, not losing money is cool also so hey things are getting better things are getting better it's just taking some time um, it does kind of suck though like I mean this is a reality everyone deals with you know um, you bang out a big week um, I think all in all with miles and accessorial pay and all that stuff. You know, we, we did about $1,900 last week, which is pretty damn good, right? And then by the time it's deposited, it's like 1,400. And you're like, uh, okay, fine, <laughs> taxes, damn it. <laughs> that's okay. That's all right, that's the way it goes. But um, right, things are starting to look up anyways, and I'm happy for that. Uh, this channel's doing well, thank you guys. Uh, we're, we're growing over here. Um, 
all, overall it slowed down, but that's because I'm not kicking out daily videos. I uh, was getting exhausted doing that, <laughs> doing it every day. Uh, what else do we got going on this morning? Nothing really. There's just really nothing. Um, uh, uh, yeah. It's just a, it's just a day. So I'm going to leave you guys to it. I'll get back to you later on in the day, see if we can get this video finished out and see where we go from there. See ya. What's going on, guys? How are you doing? We are about 600 miles away from taking a weekend off. I can't believe it. It's been so long. It's been so long. And this will be the first weekend in uh, quite a while where I could just relax and not worry about things. Now, I probably won't, but the point is I can but I probably won't, <laughs> but I'm excited, man. I just left this pilot and uh, you know how they got the self checkout things. I turned around and the guy working at pilot was standing right behind my shoulder, just watching me to make sure I was doing everything right. You know what? That's the risk you take. <laughs> you want to do self checkout. Hey, that's the risk you take. I wish I could get this camera just a little bit higher, right? Like right about here would be good, but I got nothing to hold it up. I should have done this before I started recording, huh? Anyways, uh, yeah, that's kind of where what we're doing today. I am ready for a weekend off. Um, ready to just do nothing. Probably go live maybe Sunday. I'm not really sure, but if I do, it'll only be like an hour or so. Um, just enjoy some time not doing all of this for the weekend. So getting pretty excited. I really am. So... Uh, I want to kind of continue the, uh, I think it was the last conversation I was talking about the uh, uh, young guy, uh, Gold Phoenix, and uh, his his rage against the super truckers. And uh, if you saw my community post from earlier today, um, so he talked to Will Burner a few days ago. I jumped on the live stream and I told him like good for him for speaking his mind um, because nobody should be talked down on for trying to do a job right for trying and he's three years into it so it's not like he's like brand new I mean he's still learning of course right there's still plenty to learn I'm sure he'll look back on what how he did things at three years and five years and ten years and all those things but uh it's not like he's just you know showing up but it is uh you know frustrating for him I'm sure to be talked down on and told what an idiot he is and all these things when he's just a young guy trying to learn to do a job so he can, I don't know if he's got a family, but so he can provide well for himself. Um, and if he does have a family, he can pro provide for them too. Um, and for me, like that was always frustrating too. When, when I was a younger guy working, uh, people would, you know, jump down my throat about I'm too stupid to be doing this or what have you. Right. Um, and, uh, this is the same crowd that yells that young people don't want to work. But then when they do go to work, then they want to like berate them and, and talk down on them, right? So I understand why he's got the frustrations that he uh, does. And when I jumped onto uh, Wilburner's stream, when he was talking to the guy, um, I had kind of cautioned him a little bit. I mean, he's he's a grown man. He can make his own decisions, but said, hey, you're, you're going like good for you for saying what you had to say, but you are going to make a lot of people mad. And, uh, I wouldn't recommend, uh, making a habit of this, but Hey, do what you got to do. Uh, it's definitely, um, your business, you know? And, uh, from what I can tell, he's decided to go to the, the route of still fucking with the old timers. So, Hey, you know what? Good for him. <laughs> if that's how he feels, if he feels that strongly about it, then, uh, good he should be doing that. So if you saw my community post earlier, um, I was kind of joking around, but I was like, I'm officially passing the torch, uh, to gold Phoenix in the epic fight against the super truckers. Um, I don't know if it's my torch to pass. I really don't. Um, as far as I know, um, I was probably the most vocal about that behavior. And at the time, probably the biggest name on YouTube that was speaking out against such behavior. Uh, so maybe my torch to pass, I'm not really sure. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, he can have it. <laughs> so, um, if I can, uh, just speak to the young man, Gold Phoenix for just a minute. Um, yeah, man, if you feel that strongly about it, 
um, and uh, you're, you're tired of being talked to a certain kind of way, you have all the right in the world to defend yourself. Of course you do. I agree with that 100%. Um, caution you just a little bit. Uh, they'll stop at nothing uh, once you uh, start ruffling some feathers. So um, just kind of have your stuff in order. If you got any social media accounts, make sure those are all set to private. Anything you don't want people seeing. Um, I would be cautious of making friends here on YouTube because once they got your phone number, they got everything they need. They got everything they need. So, uh, and um, from my experience here on YouTube, they will use that information. So, um, hey, I think it's cool though. I think it's cool. So that's kind of where I'm at with uh, the whole thing. I I guess if anybody's uh, confused, maybe I should have started there. Did I explain it well enough? I feel like I didn't. Um, he's a young truck driver in his early 20s, early mid 20s, um, and uh, is using <laughs> his social media platform to uh, blast back at the people that are saying silly shit to him. Um, one, one example I can think of, uh, he's a trainer, which after three years, I think you could be, yeah. Uh, that's three winners that you've made it through. Um, he was helping a trainee come off of a mountain, so if he's driven, you know, the western part of the country for the last two, three years. I think he's probably qualified to be a trainer. I think so. Um, <clears throat> but something about, I don't know the full story, but he was teaching a trainee to come off of a mountain and he must have been recording it or something. And he had that trainee coming off the mountain real slow, just nice and easy. This is my understanding of the story. And I uh, had people kind of jump in his ass about how slow he was coming off the mountain. Really? I mean, is that, is that what we're doing now? complaining about that. Um, that's the way you want to do it. That's the way you want to do it when you're, uh, when you're learning yourself or, uh, when you're training someone, uh, with confidence and understanding, you know, different weights of the loads and, and things like that. When to apply your brakes, when to use jakes, all these things that come from experience, uh, then they could start to build up that speed if they felt it necessary to do so. But learning how to come off a mountain at a low speed, is that, is that the complaint now? I think it shouldn't be. I think it shouldn't be. Um, but uh, um, I forgot what I was saying. I forgot what I was saying. But I remember kind of when I was going through all that myself here on YouTube, and I was constantly uh, pissed off about the way people would uh, talk down on me. I was just a a younger guy. I was never as young as him as a truck driver, but I was just a younger guy trying to navigate this industry, you know, and, uh, looking back on things, obviously there's probably things I would have done different. Um, and that's as recently as a month ago, there's things I would have done different. Um, but the fact that I got out here and tried the fact that this guy is getting out there and trying, um, those kind of things should be not necessarily celebrated, but not looked down on right? And not like, you shouldn't be made to feel bad because you're trying to learn how to do something. To me, that sounds crazy. Let me get some nicotine here. I got to kick this video out or get it put together and upload it because I feel like I'm going to be in a place with really poor internet tonight. Uh, so that's, that's why there's not a whole, a whole lot of different scenes today. <clears throat> as I try to do this, but, um, oh, trying to think on what I was saying. Anyways, um, I'm surprised that that culture is still here of talking down on young people. I thought I handled this already, <laughs> but I took care of it. Um, and I, I just don't understand the appeal of it, you know, um, what, what do you get out of getting on the internet and trying to make a young guy feel bad about what he's doing? Um, like, is this a hazing process? Is this like, oh, we're, we're giving you a thicker skin. Like, wait, do, do I need you to give me a thicker skin, sir? I don't even know you, you know? I don't know uh, why some guys take it upon themselves to, you know, I'm going to make the younger generation tougher. They're plenty tough. There's nothing wrong with uh, this guy's... Uh, ability to drive a truck and do it over the road, that's, that can be difficult, especially at that age. That's part of the reason I wasn't a truck driver at that young of an age. I wouldn't have wanted to have been out here on the road. I wanted, I would have, I didn't want to work then. I'll tell you that. I would have been out here trying to party like nonstop, or that's what I wanted to do instead of 
drive a truck is what I meant to say. Um, <laughs> but, uh, um, I just, I don't understand the thought process that goes into it. You know, that we're gonna, we're just gonna berate these young people until what, until what happens? You know, I'm not sure. I never got it because, um, maybe you guys can tell me, maybe there are like angry truckers in here that like go off on the younger generation. What is the appeal of it? What are you trying to accomplish? What's your end goal when you, uh, attack a young person for trying to do this job? Um, do you want them to leave the industry? That could be it. Um, are you trying to do that? Oh, I'm just giving you a, a thicker skin. Like what, why have you taken that upon yourself to do? I don't know. I don't really get it is the point I'm trying to make. And I just can't come up with any reasonable conclusion. So honestly, seriously, if there's a angry trucker that talks down on people that's watching this, go ahead and jump in the comments and uh, explain yourself as rationally as you can. Why is it uh, that you behave in that way? What are you getting from it? Um, but like I said, I don't know that it's necessarily uh, my torch to pass. Um, I hope that when my generation of truckers is staring down the barrel of retirement, that I hope we can do it much more gracefully. Um, well, let's face it, my generation, is there really such a thing as retirement? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you can forget about all that shit. Um, but, you know, can, can we, you know, leave gracefully and say, hey, we did what we came to do and then uh, leave it to the next generation because that really is the circle of life. That's how this works. You know, we all get older. Uh, I never thought I'd be in my 40s. Are you kidding me? How the fuck did that happen? I'm in my 40s. Jesus, that's not, I know that's not considered old, um, but uh, I mean, it's happened to all of us, right? I remember looking at young me in the camera, you know, not all wrinkly like I am now. Um, <laughs> so, uh, shit, I forgot what I was saying again. But uh, <coughs> I don't ever want to be that guy, you know? What would have gone wrong in my life that I'm, you know, in my, what, 50s, 60s, 70s, doubt I'll live that long, but uh, what would have gone wrong in my life that I have nothing better to do than, uh, like, just fuck with the young generation and uh, just just screw with them and, and, like I said, try to make them feel bad. Like, I mean, let's face it, like, I know we're all big, tough truckers, but we all, like, None of us like being talked down on, right? In any kind of fashion. So, yeah, that's all I'm hoping is that when it's our time, my generation, that we can just uh, pass that torch gracefully. We can, uh, and we can be happy that we did what we needed to do. And hey, maybe in the future, the, the younger driver's job does get even easier than ours was. Ours are, is pretty easy now, right? But as technology changes, they may just have an easier and easier time out here as uh, truckers. And maybe we shouldn't hold that against them. Maybe we should understand that that's how this works. As technology advances, things do get easier on the next generation. That means we're doing our part, guys. If we are doing things and over the years we are adapting and changing those things so that it makes it easier to do or maybe even a more desirable job then we're doing our job that's what we're fucking supposed to do hand it down from generation to generation and for fuck's sake leave it in better shape than we got it and and uh, make it easier for our kids and our grandkids you know like i mean what what's so hard to comprehend about that i don't get it why do we want it to be harder on our children and our grandchildren and, and the generations that come after just because it was hard for us, you know, like, I'm not saying this is hard. Trucking's pretty easy. It's not the worst thing ever. But, um, I guess that's it. I don't know how much, um, power I truly have in this situation. If there was ever a torch, if it ever even existed, uh, I don't know that it was ever mine to hand off and pass down. But if it is, if it ever was, then that's who I'm picking. That's who I'm picking to hand the torch off to. Um, and uh, I hope he continues to stand up for himself and um, um, 
I don't know how to say this. I was going to say demand respect. If he is a disrespectful little shit, then fuck him, I guess, right? But um, he is owed respect regardless of his age. Um, he is a person doing this job. He's already put three years into it. Good chance he's settled in. He's made it past that year mark, guys. He might be here for a while. And we're just all going to have to get used to that, I guess. I'm fine with it. <laughs> I have no fucking issue with it. Uh, but uh, if you've done three years in this business, um, you're probably going to make it. You're probably going to make it at that point. And uh, hey, those 20-something-year-old truckers, they're next up, guys. The fuck you going to do about it? Bitch at them? You know, I don't know what to tell you. Um... I certainly don't want to do this until I die. I don't want to hold on for dear life that I'll always be able to drive a truck. Hopefully sometime I figure something else out, you know. Um, I just I just don't fucking get it. I don't get it is the point. Um, but uh, keep up your fight, young man. Um, it matters to you, and at the end of the day, that's what matters most, you know. You uh, feel very strongly about this, and you have explained on multiple occasions the reasons that you feel strongly about this. And I feel that it is absolutely justified for you to feel that way because I went through the same exact treatment. And I was in my 30s when I came into trucking, early 30s. Well, I would have been, yeah, right around 30 years old when I came into it. Um, my problem was I'm not very big. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm only like five, six, right? And when I was 30, I looked quite a bit younger. Um, so people thought I was in my twenties, which is not a reason to disrespect someone. It's really not. It's really not a reason. So I think that's all I got on the topic. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been trying to milk a few extra minutes out of this. <laughs> so, uh, I think mission successful on that. Um, and, uh, that's it. If I can give any message to my generation of truckers, let's be more graceful. Let's let these young people take the reins when it's their time to do it and uh, go on about our lives. Have we not done enough already by that time? I think we have, and I think we should just let them have it. Sounds fine to me. See ya.